Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson Angle Properties of a Circle. Uh, the question is here. In the figure below, O is the center of the circle. A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of the circle. Line AB is parallel to line DC, and angle ADC is equal to 55 degrees. So the figure is here. The angle is indicated and all the points. The question is determine the size of angle ACB. Angle ACB. Where is that angle? ACB. So this is the angle that you need to uh, determine. Now the best approach to solve this question is to use all the angle properties of a circle that you know. Fill all the angles that you can see using all those properties and the process will be able to get angle ACB. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing that you observe uh, is this angle that is here. So there is angle ADC. There is angle ADC and angle ABC. This is a property that you're going to use for that. Now, considering that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, there's a property that connects uh, or that relates to the cyclic quadrilateral. And there's a property that the opposite angles of any cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So if I add these two angles, angle ADC and angle ABC, I should get a sum of 180. So to get angle ABC, therefore, I'll simply take 180, subtract 55 degrees, and this one should give 125. So this angle is 125. So opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. Uh, from that, um, there's still another angle that you can spot here very well. This is the angle. So look at angle, angle DAC, angle DAC. Angle DAC is subtended at the circumference by the diameter of the circle. And you have a property that connects that uh, to that. Uh, the property you're going to use here is that the angle subtended at the circumference of the circle by the diameter is 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees. Consider this triangle ADC. So triangle ADC. All the angles should add up to 180. So we have 55 plus 90 this one will give 145. So to get angle DCA, which is young, we just simply take 180 degrees, subtract 145 degrees, and this one will give 35 degrees. So this angle is 35 degrees. So after getting that now, there's still another property that you can use here. Given that AB is parallel to DC, uh, AC is a transversal. AC is a transversal. So we have it like this. So this is uh, AB. And then we have this is DC. They are parallel. So we have AC. AC. So A is here. So AC is a transversal. We know the properties of angles uh, in transversal. So this angle is alternate to this. Alternate angles are equal. So if this angle is 35, this one should be 35 as well. So angle BAC is equals to 35 degrees. So we've used uh, the properties of angles in a transversal. Where we have the parallel lines. DC is a parallel line uh, to AB. So that is a being a transversal. Now this angle is alternate to that. So 35, 35 degrees. Now, now we are now almost uh, getting the answer. ACB. Now considering triangle ABC, the sum of angles in a triangle should add up to 180. So we have 35 degrees plus 125 degrees. That is in this triangle that is here, ABC. 
this one gives uh, 160 degrees and therefore the remaining angle which is the required angle ACB uh, angle ACB will be given by 180 degrees subtract 160 and this one will give this one will give 20 degrees so this angle therefore is 20 degrees so we have answered the question determine the size of angle ACB that angle is 20 degrees